Hey MW, I'm Melissa. And I'm Stephanie Carcace, and we are two sisters and the founders of Millennial Women. And your host of Millennial Women Talk, the podcast. We are so grateful you're sharing your time with us today. By tuning into this episode, you are investing in becoming the best version of you, and we're just thrilled to be on this journey together. In today's episode of Millennial Women Talk, we welcome Estefania Saavedra. Estefania is a TikTok influencer who has 1.6 million followers and has generated over 32.6 million likes on all of her videos. Yes, on this episode, we chat about how anxiety makes her funny, her journey to becoming one of the most successful TikTokers, and so much more. Here's our conversation with Estefania Saavedra. Estefania, you are hilarious. Actually, this whole crew, we were showing all your videos and we were cracking up. So tell me how many followers do you have right now? Um, on TikTok, I have 1.6 million followers. And on Instagram, it's 124,000. Wow. Okay. I mean, casi nada. That's not it. You know, that's not it. <laughs> so you start posting on TikTok and all of a sudden you have a million people looking at you like, how did this even start? It was crazy. So I think um, where a lot of TikTok to, TikTokers started their, um, you know, beginnings was when COVID was like in full effect. Um, so that's how I started. I actually um, wasn't working. I was going through a really hard time. Like personally, um, I was, it, it was, I was in a bit of a funk, you know, um, I even shaved my hair. Like I was completely, wow. like I shaved my head completely. Um, it was a huge transition for me. Um, not that I was going crazy or anything, you know, I mean, it's a little crazy, but I think everyone should do it once in their lifetime. Um, yeah. but it was great. I felt absolutely great. Um, after that. And then I started posting, um, just, uh, for fun. I loved making people laugh and, just kind of making their day and then slowly I was gaining uh followers I remember being at like 2000 I was like okay I've made it you know um <laughs> I'm good you know and then I did a video with the tiny hands mm -hmm. and uh that one got the attention of Charlie <laughs> Puth which then it had already had like 900,000 views and then when Charlie Puth did it mm. I woke up the next day it was like 200,000 followers. I was like, what? Like in the world. Wow. It, yeah. It changed my life. Literally. It was, it was crazy, but I love it. That's amazing. Wow. Okay. So we need to get to know you a little bit, like personally. So tell us about your story. Like, where are you from? How did you grow up? Like, tell us a bit about you. Of course. So I was born in Ecuador and I was brought to the U.S. when I was four years old. So I, I've lived here pretty much my whole life. Um, and I was raised in South Florida. I went to school there, graduated there. Um, and then I lived in Orlando for many years where I met my husband of, it's gonna be seven years now. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then now we're in Houston, we're in Houston, Texas. Um, it was a, it was a, huge journey for me because I grew up in this country uh, undocumented um, mm -hmm. and my of course like a lot of undocumented families my parents came here for you know a better life for my brother and I um, so it was it was a pretty tough road for us but my parents always made it work they were such hard workers and they made sure that even though we were undocumented there was always food on our table there was always yeah. a roof over our heads we were going to school and getting the education that we needed so um and yeah and now i'm here and uh i have to thank them for everything that they did and that we've accomplished so yeah i love that and it's it's so special right and it's true like it's like the Hamilton thing, immigrants who get the job done, right? It's like always hardworking people, always just trying to make a good life for themselves and their family. So I just, I love that you shared that. And it is a testament to your successes for the sacrifices that they made, right? It really is. I think um, everything that I experienced and that um, I grew up learning from them has made me the person that I am today, for sure. Yeah, oh, I love that. 
So you're saying that you love everything that has happened to you, you know, in these last, the last year, right? Tell us a little bit about those emotions, right? Because a lot of people, especially creators, like you hope that it, it resonates with somebody, that it makes people laugh, you know, such as your content, but you don't really know, like you want to be successful, but you don't really know, right? And so tell us a little bit about the emotions that you felt throughout this whole year and, and the transformation that you personally have been dealing with. Yeah. Well, I still don't like, it's, it's weird because I'm like, I'm not successful. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> I only have like, you know, you know, a million followers, but like, I still feel like it's just me. Like I still, right. Um, I don't know. It's, it's weird. And it's, it's been a roller coaster ride. Like I, I, that's what I, it, I just imagine like like going up and then going down and then up and down and I was really uh I was really taken by it and and I would tell my husband I'm like but why why me you know I'm like I would cry to him I'm like why is this happening to me he's like well you know there's something in you that people love there's something you know there's there's always a reason for whatever is happening so just take it in um so at first, yeah, I was like, okay. Uh, and then not only that, it's like, now you're being seen by so many people and um, you kind of have to like, okay, well, what do I do now? What's the, the next thing for me? Or what's the, like, so right. you're always kind of like constantly right. like, okay, what's my next move or what's this? Because then you have all these emotions. Like, what if I get forget, like forgotten, you know, like right. forget about me, you know? And um, it's, it's just all of that. But I also try to always come back because my, my mind is filled with like thoughts all the time, <laughs> but um, it never stops, you know, running, but I, you know, I always try to come back and be like, well, take it one day at a time, because this is, it's the only thing that we can do. You know, we have control over what's happening in the now you know, whatever happened, happened in the future. We don't know what's going to happen. So just, just take it day by day. And that's what I've been trying to do. Just trying to focus on that. Yeah. I love what you said, because it's true. Sometimes when something life-changing like this happens, you're just like, like, what do I do with this? Mm -hmm. Right. And you start thinking about the business part of it. Well, how can I monetize now right. that I'm here? Or will, will my next video be as good as my last? Like, do you ever have like those thoughts and, and how do you like keep yourself going and still enjoy what you're doing? Um, I know in the beginning it was tough because I didn't know anything about it and like how people were going to react to the views. Like, uh, you know, I'm like, what if it's just like a 50 minutes of fame and then I'm just, I'm done. Or what if it's something that it's going to continuously grow like fast, you know, it's just, um, but now that I've kind of, it's, it's been over a year, and um, again, it's kind of like an up and down movement. Like, so I, I expect that, like, I, um, I know that I can't always be like, okay, well, I'm this, this video got super like viral. And then my next one can be like, it, it, I mean, it doesn't go viral whatsoever. So I've, I need to accept that, that, that happens, you know, right. with every creator. You know, and I, I kind of think of like people that I look up to, like, you know, actors and stuff like comedians like Adam Sandler and Will Ferrell, mm -hmm. like, you know, they've had their huge, huge, successful, you know, you know, movies and whatever. And then they've also had like, okay, you know, not their great, right, right, you know, movies and opportunities. So it's like, okay, that's how I have to see it. Like, I don't always have to be perfect. You know, it's, it's that, you know, trying to get away from that perfection mentality. So um, but yes. yeah, again, trying to just take it day by day and seeing how it goes. I love that. I love it. So for you, it's like, as a creator, and I feel like this is you authentically. Like, I feel like if we were to go on a girl's trip, like, I feel like that would be you all the time. <laughs> I feel like just you would put out the tiny laugh. hands. Kind of. <laughs> I, w I mean, I, I always try to remember to uh, leave some tiny hands in my purse. <laughs> you never know when the opportunity you know um but yeah I think even like from my uh, group of friends it's like four of us and I feel like I'm the 
I'm the biggest like geek, like I'm the kid, you know, I'm always like goofing off and just making people laugh. I never consider myself like as a comedian, but just more of like a goofy person, like, you know, and just, that's just who I am, you know, just trying to, just trying to be me, you know. <laughs> just trying to be you, you're doing it good too, girl. <laughs> and why do you resonate with comedy so much? Why is comedy so special to you? Cause you even mentioned like these famous actors that have been, I mean, classics. You know, why is, is comedy so special to you? So if you actually go into my page, the first thing that you will see, page is called, it, it, well, it's not called, but it says anxiety makes me funny. Mm -hmm. um, I've struggled through, you know, some anxiety and, and mental health issues. And I feel like laughter is the best medicine. Like, it you is. know, and not only for mental health, it's for anything like, uh, you know, another person that I, I looked up to was Robin Williams and when he did Patch Adams I was like that's oh, me too that's yes. one of my favorite movies yes I'm like <laughs> I'm laughing and crying at the same time like that's what I want like that's what I want my whole life to be you know it's just like making people laugh and then getting a little emotional here and there you know one or two um but yeah it, it is it is I think it's one of the best medicines to have you know that that laughter and that comedy Yes. And also sometimes it's like not to take things so seriously, although they are so serious. Right. And you do that with your content. Yeah, I, I do. I try to, I mean, I don't think it's like dark humor, but like sometimes I, I will um, kind of make it, it's, it's like a serious thing. For example, like I'm, I'm big on body positivity, you know, like, and, and I, I try to be as transparent even though sometimes I'll look back to that video and I'm like, do I, do I really have to post that, you know? And yeah. I'm like, I don't, I don't feel the greatest. I don't look the greatest. And then, um, and I'm making fun of myself. Um, even though I'm sometimes I'm still struggling to even look at the video, but I'm like, I know that someone out there, whether if it's just one person will relate you know, and we'll say, oh my God, I know how you feel and you're not alone, you know? So, and, and that's another reason why I do that too. You know, I, I just to try to be as, even though it's hard sometimes to be transparent, just to do it because there's other people that need that, that, you know, they need that. to know that they're not alone. Right. And that's so important that every creator has that as their why, right? Like I'm creating for others. And also it helps us as creators, right? Mm -hmm. Because when it's no longer about you, it kind of removes a little bit of the pressure. At the same time, it increases the pressure because you're like, oh, I'm doing it for somebody. I hope they like it. But that pressure that everything is about you, it's like, no, this is about somebody else. And so you remove yourself from the equation and you're able to show up and show out, right? And also resonate. Resonate with your viewers. And I love that you're making us all laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean it, it really is I, I like what you said it's just kind of taking us out there and, and just making it for others like that's what I also tried to remember you know like I, I started out this for myself mm -hmm. and I have to continue it for myself and others you know and and that's that's very important to me too I love that we spoke um to somebody too on the show that also did very well on TikTok. And her main reason for going on TikTok to be vulnerable was because, you know, her family, people that she knew were not on the app. Was that something for you as well? So that you can express yourself in a safe, safer place? Or was it just that you loved TikTok? You know, I love TikTok. I, mm -hmm. you know, even talking about it sometimes makes me a little emotional because it really helped me get out of my comfort zone. The many times that I wanted to do that on Instagram or Facebook, um, whether if it was posting a video about me or posting a photo, oh. you know, like even sometimes I'm like, okay, I would take 10 pictures or like selfies and I'm like, I hate it. I don't like it, you know, like, mm. and not posting it on Instagram and not posting it. Um, TikTok with my videos, and other people kind of help me like get out of that comfort zone and be like, it's okay. Like, you know, 
it's okay to kind of show your belly, you know, if it's kind of hanging out, who cares? Like, and the more I felt more com- like the more comfortable I felt doing those, the better I felt about myself and the more confident I felt. And I'm like, you know what? Looking back at these videos and looking back at these pictures, like I saw myself beautiful now because, you know, TikTok literally helped me build my self-confidence in that like with these videos you know and I'm like I can't I can't believe it it's it's crazy it really is how much um your self-confidence can really like completely change the way you think about yourself and just your whole life it's crazy well I I think also people show you a lot of love like if you scroll through those comments like people people love you like how does that feel for you um it's it's crazy uh I mean again like with them I feel like I wouldn't I wouldn't be here or where I am today or what I've done and what I've accomplished um it's been because of them you know um everything that I you know if you really think about it again it's it's kind of like when you when you hear like a like a uh, an actor and actress like giving their like award speech and they're like thank you fans like, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and like I I know I'm like it's weird for me to say that but like it really is yeah. it truly 100% is because of my followers you know and and I've made some amazing friends through that too you know I've met amazing people through that so yeah I owe it all to them for sure I love it. And I think for them, I mean, because we are your fans, we follow you and watch your content. You know, I'm going to speak from us. From us, it's almost like a thank you for making life a little bit joyful sometimes, right? Especially last year, right? And so I feel like it's like a mutual thing where you're grateful, but we're grateful for you. Yeah, I think it's it's like a a connection there. Um, and, And I've had plenty of conversations the same way. You know, they're like, well, thank you. And I'm like, no, thank you. I'm like, we can be here all day. And then we will say thank you, thank you, thank you back and forth because it's yeah. never ending. I love you. that. I love that. What did your family think about your success? Like, are they like, like, what are their thoughts on that? So my parents have, you know, they know, since I was a little kid, I loved singing. I loved acting. I loved dancing. I liked being the center of attention a little bit. <laughs> Uh, just a little bit. So um, I liked it, you know, so they, they knew that I really liked doing that. When I started <laughs> doing my TikTok videos, I started posting them on Facebook and Instagram. And a lot of like my friends and family would be like, oh, that's funny, you know. And I would show like my my mom and my dad and they're like, oh, you're funny. That, you know, that's funny, you know, kind of like that. Just, you know, and then my husband, the same, you know, he's my husband is funny, but he's like, like very shy, too. So he'd be like, oh, that's funny or whatever. Um, once he started <laughs> seeing <laughs> my, uh, you know, that I was getting a lot more followers and stuff like that, my mom was like, she would call me every day. Have, have you done a video today? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen your new video. Like, what is it? And, and I'm like, wait. You should hire her. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to because, you no, know, she, I mean, I don't even have to hire her. Like, she already knows. Like, she's like, okay, I'm going to do this no matter what. Um, but they are so, yeah, they're like, uh, we, and then they always, you know, how, how parents are like, oh, yeah, so my daughter, you know, you mm-hmm. might know her. She's like kind of famous. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, mom, you know, and, uh, but it's amazing, like, how supportive they are with that. And, and my husband, too, he's, he's super supportive. I That's awesome. That. Cause support is so important, you know, especially now, you know, it's definitely important in the beginning because you can feel like, Oh, I don't know if I want to continue doing this. But then when you have the pressure of doing it, it's like, you do need that support. And I love to hear that you do have that support. It is. It's amazing. I'm very, I'm very blessed and very thankful to have, you know, uh, the closest people, you know, that I care about. They, They also want to see me successful. So they're super supportive. I love that. So now can you tell us that you are going to continue pursuing those other endeavors like singing and acting now that you have like this platform, like, do you have any ideas to do that in the future? (sighs) To be honest, 
so singing scares me. I don't know why. Like, I, no. I, that was my first passion when I was a little kid. I always wanted to be a singer. Like, that was me. You know, I, I was singing everywhere. Um, I think the older I got, the more, like, nervous it made me. And I don't know why. But you never know um you never know I yeah but I I do see myself continuing to do a little bit more out of like social media I would love to do something you know later on maybe in in tv or film and stuff like that so our stand-up yeah stand-up would be fun (laughs) oh man I it is so scary you know like you need a lot of practice when it comes to that but you know maybe like SNL or something if you're watching I mean maybe <laughs> I love that. I love it. Listen, you have to sing. I want to hold you to that. I feel like I'm going to DM you every day. I'm going to be like you have you have to sing because I think, you know, I'm a singer as well, and I think, you know, what you mentioned like that fear um it's just because that's the closest thing to your to your soul, to your heart. And that's the thing that you have to do, especially now you have that platform. And now you, you now you told us. And so now I'm going to tell everybody you're a singer. <laughs> Well, everybody knows. <laughs> and everybody knows. And everybody wants to hear you. So I want to hear it. I want to hear you do more of that. Of course. I, I mean, I was like, oh, you want me to sing now? Like, No, no, no. Oh, okay. I'm like, okay. Uh, because I, I'm going to need, I'm going to need like, you know, a heads up next time. Our own thing. <laughs> like chamomile with honey. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. I mean, I'm not even shy. Like if I were to sing now, like that's, that's cool. But, um. I really loved what you said because it is, it is. Singing is yeah. very, very close to my heart. And it's something that it's, has always been a big thing in my life. So I will try. I, I do get a lot of like messages too. Like, why don't you that. sing more? And why don't, and I'm like, I'm sorry. Okay. I promise I'll try. So yeah, yeah I'll try. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us like out of all the characters that you created, which one's your favorite? I mean, of course, it has to be Paco. Like, oh, Paco's so good. <laughs> I mean, the tiny hands is all. I mean, I love yeah, tiny yes. hands. Um, Paco is very. I just love his moicas, like his facial expressions that he does. <laughs> Who inspired Paco's character? So I started doing um, lip syncing from Nacho Libre. Oh. That's so funny. I see the resemblance now. (laughs) You know, my hair was a lot, now that it's, you know, now it's getting longer, but before it was a lot shorter and it was like, you know, poofy. I have curly hair. So then I would put on the mustache (laughs) and, you know, I do like the lip singing for Nacho. Like I, I I know like the whole song. I'm like, I'm so in love with Nacho. I can literally like say the whole movie, but um from then on little by little like you are you you're hilarious with you know the mustache like and um then I asked one time like the my followers I'm like give me a name like you know I did a video you know for that and then I scrolled I literally scrolled I'm like I think Paco sounds pretty good so that's where Paco came from and uh yeah he's he's a gentle loving person um (laughs) You know, sometimes can be a little, you know, a daredevil. Uh, but yeah, I love him. I love oh my God, Any I love new it. characters that are going to be appearing soon? So I have done uh, Baby Steffi, which is um, like <laughs> <laughs> filter with, you know, like the baby look. Um, and I really love that one. I haven't really like come up with like a name or something like that. And then recently I uh, introduced Lolita which is this like New Yorker, you know, and he, she talks like this and, you know, she's from Puerto Rico, but, you know, tu sabe, you know, so it's like, she's very you know, nasally and, and, and has an attitude, like, it's completely the opposite of what I would be, you know, like, you know, she's, oh got, like, this, she's super confident, like, uh, um, of herself, and she has the tiny hands, you know, but with, like, the bomb nails, you know, with the acrylic gun. Oh, my gosh. She's bougie. Oh my God. So. That is it. so funny. Ooh, oh, oh my God. I, I can't it. wait. What is something that you want people to know about you 
Estefania, behind the creator, what is something that you really want somebody to know about you? Um, I am not perfect. I've got so many flaws, so many. And that's okay. I accept my flaws and I accept that I'm not perfect. Because at the end of the day, um, I'm still, I'm still going to be me. I'm still going to be that like lovable person. You know, I, I love really, really hard at times. And um, that kind of beats everything else, you know, um, you know, away from my flaws and everything. So I'm just, just continue to be myself. Like, you know, that's, that's pretty much, that's me. That's me in a nutshell. You know, I'm not perfect, mm -hmm. but I'm going to continue to love as much as I can and spread joy and laughter. And yeah, you're doing a really, that. really good job at it, my friend. Thank you. Oh, my gosh, you're amazing. We are so grateful that you took time to be on the show today and just be so open and vulnerable with us and then make us laugh like we're just so grateful for this time with you. You really are very special. And we just are very excited to continue to see you flourish and just continue to be successful because you're awesome. Thank you, ladies. You're amazing. And, and it was really, really, um, you know, I, I was really excited to be on here and talk to you ladies about this. You know, I'm always excited to, to you know, talk to you and, and my journey. So very thankful to be invited to this. So love it. Yes. Thank you, ladies. Oh, Thank you're you. amazing. Sending we love you love. You. Bye. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. If you want to learn more about Estefania, please follow her on TikTok at Estefi Savvy. Subscribe and leave us a review on all of your favorite platforms. This helps us continue to bring you great conversations just like this to you every single week. And text us to the number below for subscriber only freebies and perks to help you become the best version of yourself. As always, we encourage you to continue on with this conversation and continue on laughing because that yes. is very important. <laughs> and also keep being the strong, amazing woman that you are and never forget to live inspired. Until next time, MW. Always love Melissa and Stephanie Carcace.